OK, well, let's head on down to the Rising Sun Tavern in Auckland's K Road and see just what's behind the Warner's wall of guitar noise. Oh, I think we're influenced a lot by early yeah, um, UK bands, also a lot of Australian bands like Radio Birdman and Saints, sort of right into it, and reggae bands as well. But there's, a lot, reggae. there's a lot that comes from our own um, experiences. Like when we started off, we didn't know how to play, so we taught ourselves. We didn't do covers because we couldn't. And so we developed a lot of our own styles, which sort of corresponded to a lot of what was going on. But, um, you know, we had our own, our own thing right from the beginning, which sort of set us apart from a lot of bands. Well, back in 1977, it was a new and exciting uh, style of music, but where, where is its place now in 1988? It's hard to say if there's, like we play what we like and there's people to listen to it. Um, when nobody comes, I suppose we would have to change and do something different. But uh, there's so many bands that are coming out that are still following the same sort of styles that the music is still there, there's still the people who listen to it. Yeah. We just try to create the energy and things like that, you know, that was around from that time, you know, yeah. when we were young. It was, you know, felt really, just have a really good feeling going and seeing those sort of bands, you know, and you can have a good time. A lot of bands now, they just stand there and, you know, it's just really boring. We sort of want to involve people with, that, with the music as well, as much as we are, you know. Why do you have problems finding places to play? Um, no. <laughs> we're too loud, I think. Yeah. Though. But loud for most pubs. A few people sort of cause cause a few problems there and we get blamed for it. Yeah. Just people having a good time. Pub managers don't seem to like that. They want people to sit there like good little kids and drink lots of their beer but mm, not cause any trouble. So how do you get around the problem of, of not being able to play anywhere? What do you do? Um, well, once we uh, changed our name and wore long hair wigs, <laughs> it was a heavy metal band but it only lasted once. <laughs> but do you accept that um, there's, there's never going to be a big potential audience for the style of music that you're doing? Yeah, um, we just enjoy doing it. That's the main thing. Is, you know, we don't really care what people think. Like punks don't like us because I think that we're heavy metal. Headbangers don't like us because I think that we're punks and sort of sort of get a, quite a mixed audience. You know, we don't really care what people think. They can, you know. <laughs> as long as we cover the bills, yeah. basically, we're we're happy. 